In the vast expanse of northeastern Arizona, there lies an underrated destination, a place you can see the remains of ancient forests now frozen in stone monuments, and a place that well deserves the name Painted. Welcome to Petrified Forest National Park and the Painted Desert. This is day one of a three-day weekend exploring northern Arizona. I flew from Nashville to Phoenix where my childhood friend picked me up. From Phoenix, it was just a three and a half hour drive to the park. When I say this park is underrated, I mean for all of its beauty, history, and amazing sights, it only ranks 39th out of 63 national parks for annual visitors. And being that it's only a four hour drive from the second most visited national park, the Grand Canyon, this park really gets overlooked. As you drive through the park, you will see its amazing diversity just in the color palettes at each stop you make. From the reds and oranges on your first views of the park along the Painted Desert Rim Trail, to the blues and purples as you explore the Badlands along the Blue Mesa Trail. It is unlike any other park I have been to so far. Beyond the beauty of the park is the human history. Stopping at Newspaper Rock, you will get to see actual petroglyphs carved into the rock face. Over 650 petroglyphs cover this small group of rock faces, marking it as a place of importance for the people who once lived here. A little more recent history gives us the Painted Desert Inn. The inn has stood in this place almost 100 years. While the original building was made of petrified wood, what you see now was built in the 1930s. And no, you can't make a reservation to stay there anymore. Now the site is a museum to the history of the inn and its role for the builders of Route 66. It also includes some restored petroglyphs. Getting out of the car and exploring the park on foot is a must. There are 17 trails in the park ranging from easy to moderate, with one trail for the true adventurers to Pilot Rock that is a 17 mile out and back hike, which is generally considered difficult. And if you're gonna do that one, pack some water. After all, this is a desert. The petrified wood in the park is the remains of an ancient tropical forest that was uprooted by flood and covered in sediment. This blocked oxygen to the wood, slowing decay and allowed minerals to replace the cell walls and fill voids in the wood over time, causing it to become more stone-like. And it's really kind of cool to see it with your own eyes. So if you are planning a trip to the Grand Canyon, take some time and add the petrified forest to your trip. The trails are more accessible and shorter, allowing you to see more, and it's just a beautiful, underrated park. Comment below if there's a park that you think is also underrated and that I should visit next, and don't forget to subscribe. You can also click on my National Parks playlist right here and see all the parks that I have visited so far.